conceptual physics and in uh, general physics, I use laptops for um, content downloading as well as uh, data acquisition in labs, as well as uh, quizzes. They download their reviews in their labs on, on D2L. The first time they get to the lab, they, they uh, get a disk of a, a program called Logger Pro. And so they download that. And, uh, and that works with a device called Lab Pro. Well, the nice thing is even though there's a lot of different types of sensors, they're all kind of basically the same thing. They have a collect button. And so once everything's set up right, if you press collect, you, everything from that point on is kind of the same. It knows, you know, what to do. The format comes out the same. And so if they're using whatever, you know, photo gate to a pH meter to a temperature meter, it's going to take a data point every so often, and then it'll spit out a graph. So this lab is uh, on rotational inertia. So the disk is tied, goes across the pulley, and is tied to some masses. And then the masses start to spin it. And so depending on what is on the plate and how much the plate weighs and the shape of the plate, it'll spin differently. Uh -huh. So the acceleration of the plate is different. So um, they kind of use that to calculate what's called rotational inertia. The program um, takes the data, but then it also uh, uses, it spits out graphs of the data. And so they can, just like any graphing program, they can find trend lines and slopes, and they can uh, map out the data and, and see if there's any trends. and and use that information for making a conclusion. So before these, we would just do completely different labs, more conceptual labs, more um, not taking real data, just looking at conclusions right away and trying to see if we can see something. This is my fourth year teaching with this, these uh, Logger Pro and Lab Pro. Um, and before that, we had timers and photo gates, um, but they weren't connected to a computer. They were just they would just spit out uh, times and distances, but they wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't be able to graph them right from the data. Um, and so this makes the lab uh, a lot more involved. They have the ability to see real numbers and see real answers. So the amount of labs that we were able to do before was a lot smaller. Now we can do a lot uh, longer labs, a lot more involved labs. They might end up at the same point for the conclusion, but since they come from a little bit deeper understanding, a little bit more real numbers, it's a little bit more concrete in their learning.